Hi everyone. Um, so I recently received a comment asking that I review Step 2 CK resources. So I will do that now. The first highly recommended resource is UWorld. I believe it's a resource that a majority, if not all, of Step 2 CK exam takers use. And what I did is I purchased the question bank at the beginning of my third year so that I could get through a first pass by the end of the third year. As you can see, it has over 3,000 questions, so I wanted to make sure I covered all of them by the end of my third year. Um, so then I ended up hitting the reset button at the end of third year to do the questions one more time for a second pass during my one month dedicated study period. One feature that I really liked on the UWorld app was their flashcards. I would often like copy like some explanations or copy like images or flow charts that they provided in the explanation section onto the flashcards so that I can review concepts that I wasn't as strong in at a later date on my own. As you can see, the flashcards are the flow charts are really detailed and I found like it really helped me understand various management options for diseases. Uh, so I, I highly recommend doing that as well. UWorld also provides self assessments um, that you can either buy in bundles or buy separately. Um, I ended up purchasing the one year subscription which is about $500 and I found like that's all I really needed I didn't need any more time and as you can see come with two self assessments so I ended up doing two passes in total of UWorld and I found that was that was sufficient to prepare for step 2 CK I would I would do mixed subsets all the time and after doing each question back, I would see if there was a pattern as to which like systems I was getting wrong. Was I getting a lot of questions for a specific subject area wrong? And if so, I would review those subject areas in Online Med Ed. Online Med Ed is a second resource that I highly recommend using when studying for Step 2 CK. Uh, it's really comprehensive and Dr. Williams provides really high yield explanations for concepts in all body systems um, I didn't end up watching all the videos on the website I only watch videos on my weak areas but if you have time and you can watch all the videos I highly recommend it because it's really high yield information another resource that I know is really popular is USM Emily step 2 secrets now this is formatted in question and answer and it presents a lot of high yield information so I know a lot of people also found that helpful to read in addition to um, doing the UWorld questions and listening to the online managed videos. Um, lastly two other resources that I don't feel like a lot of people actually used too much for Step 2 CK is the First Aid USMLE Step 2 CK book. Now it's interesting because in comparison to the first aid book for step one, which was really high yield and was heavily used by a lot of medical students. I don't believe a lot of people really use first aid step two CK. Like I'll admit that I purchased the book, but I ended up not really using it too much. I may have referenced it a few times, but it wasn't as heavily used as step one first aid book. And sim the similar thing can be said about um, the master of the boards for step two CK. I had it only because it was gifted to me by somebody, but I ended up not using it. So if you do feel like you might need additional resources outside of the three previously mentioned, feel free to buy it. But honestly, I feel like you'd suffice, you'd be fine with just using UWorld, Online Med Ed, and Step 2 CK Secrets. I hope this helps. Feel free to comment or private message me if you have any additional questions. Bye.